Good day, gentlemen and ladies. Um, I'm still waiting for my uh, transmission uh, strainer that I broke two weeks ago, and uh, the part that didn't came in. The uh, and uh, so I, what I decided to do is uh, since uh, my tractor is still jacked up in the air, and uh, I was planning to uh, flush to change the coolant for uh, my tractor, I decided to do it now uh, because well, I'm still waiting for that part so I cannot run the tractor without hydraulic oil so uh, may as well to uh, to uh, take advantage of hey let's do the uh, the coolant chain on my uh, Mahindra Emax 20S HST tractor now I didn't make any video since the last two weeks uh, mainly <laughs> the main reason is I don't know if you can see in my voice but I caught a human flu. Uh, <laughs> I was sick. Non-COVID related. It's just uh, plenty of rest, a lot of sleeping, and uh, I, I did work my normal hours. Busy like hell, but hey, that's life. In order, let's go back into the uh, the main topic subject is how to change your coolant. First of all, do not run your engine. <laughs> you need to have it cool because cooling can be very warm and you can burn yourself. And also you have to try to avoid a splash uh, on yourself, on your eyes. So you have to make sure of that. All right, on the book itself, on the maintenance book, which I left ahead on there, my. All right, for the uh, maintenance book on the, uh, about the, uh, the chart, they said a radiator coolant check every year and replace as necessary check coolant level frequently and you go at uh, page uh, 4-4 5-4 sorry and uh, on page uh, 4-5 or 5-4 sorry uh, inspecting and changing coolant all right so Basically what it does, what they're asking us is just to open the radiator, uh, radiator coolant, check if you need more and then also with the, remember the video I made about adding the catch tank for the radiator uh, coolant. Now, it doesn't say uh, when you have to change it. Alright, for me uh, and me only, but uh, most mechanic uh, shouldn't or technician working on various tractor on various equipment will let you then most coolant after five years it start to go bad it car it start to go uh, on the way that it will make the radiator corrode inside so what this I recommend is after five years change your coolant and that is good for your car your truck your tractor and everything so I bought my Mahindra in 2018, obviously it was not made the same year, it was made probably the year before, in 2017, so that's why we're on 2022, that would make sense, then uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so that's five years, and uh, so that's why I'm going to change the, the coolant. Now, I recommend you to buy at your dealership the, the coolant that they, uh, they recommend you to buy. Uh, to remove how to do it all right they didn't say that it's nothing said in the book they only say about the top now usually I'm just gonna put my maintenance book here usually you try to hit the lowest point of your uh, of the uh, either the engine or the radiator and you basically disconnect the hose so there's a, always a top hose of the radiator and there's a bottom hose now the bottom hose on the left side there's nothing but on the right side right under this is the air intake right under there that's where the hose is for the uh, the return so uh, not the return but the going uh, towards the engine all right so uh, I'm just gonna show you something on the engine and before we, we proceed all right st stick around all right so this is the radiator cap which I remove and I'm gonna put a rag like this and this is the hose you can see I'm gonna remove my little rag 
and right under the hose there that's where it is located the uh, the thermostat that's what control the temperature of your tractor so if the tractor is running cool or hot that's what you need to uh, to change right under there all right now i'm just gonna put the my rack there that's an indicator for me for the oil when i'm gonna add the oil all right now under here i'm gonna try to put the camera i'm gonna use my uh, and that's where the hose is there so in order to have access you need to remove the uh, this is the side panel the panel was right here like this so you need to unscrew those two screws those two screws there you remove it and then you can uh, remove it like that all right now i'm gonna get myself a screwdriver just hold on now one thing before I'm, I'm using the screwdriver to remove to disconnect the bottom hose of the radiator just make sure you have a big drip tray, a drip tray okay and uh, to catch all that uh, cooling going on the ground you try to avoid any uh, soil contamination now my garage is right there but my my drain my water drain is right beside so I'm gonna try to have uh, catch everything <sighs> Now, with that plastic shield removed from there, this is the hose right there. With a screwdriver, you just put it like this and then you start to unscrew it. All right. There's not too much place in there because of that uh, steel thing. Uh, it's not easy to, to remove it, but... Oh, the clamp is still, uh, it's still fairly okay. Let's remove the clamp. All right. Actually, the clamp is completely loose. All right, so just gonna I remove it right there, and the clamp is in good shape, no sign of corrosion. So I'm gonna put it aside. Put the screwdriver. Now, usually, <coughs> the rubber is <laughs> is quite uh, steady, so maybe. It's gonna be a little fight to disconnect it from that. All right, so just so what I'm gonna do, just uh, give me one second. I'm gonna find a solution. All right, cheers. All right, so that hose is really thick. I do really don't want to break that radiator connector, and that I see that happening. So I I go the other side. The hose totally turn around under the uh, the engine. And it's connected on the water uh, on the water pump so what will i end up doing is just disconnect the the hose from a steel uh, pump so i will be able to have free and just drop the hose down but before i need to remove that panel so stick around so yeah it will be more easier for you folks than the tractor owner next time you You just do start right on the left side. Right, one screw. All right, so let's take that plastic panel. So that gave me plenty of space. Now I'm gonna get the screwdriver to disconnect. So I don't know if you can see, but that's the hose right in there. So the clamp is right there. So I'm going to unscrew that. Uh, where is it? Right in here. 
So I'm gonna bring my oh my pen more towards under the engine here. All right. Yeah, there's a tie wrap there. So I'm gonna cut it off. A tie wrap toy. The uh, that's the uh, fuel line. All right. There we go. So. Just put it nicely, nice and easy. And now what I want to do is try to have that hose somehow going under here, but it's really not easy to do. If the liquid was hot, I would probably burn myself. All right, there's a clamp under that. I'm gonna remove that clamp, all right? Well, you see that hose? That's the radiator hose who goes under the engine and go on the opposite side. And that clamp here, it's in the middle of it to keep it in a hot position. So you have to remove that clamp. And uh, that clamp is right under here and it's really easy to, uh, to see it. So you remove it. And that way, you let all your coolant uh, dropping. So, once everything is dropped, like right now, I will let it drip all the way into the, in the, on the on the pan, and then you just reconnect it. So, just a, a quick recap about that is on that side, I'm gonna reconnect right away. So the trick is really remove the hose clamp in the middle, which I just show you. Disconnect directly from the water pump and just drop the hose. Don't deal with uh, what I've done on the on the left on the right side of the radiator. All right. So that was my short video. I already blew my nose twice. <laughs> so uh, please. Now everything went on the pan. So be environmentally environmentally friendly. And uh, hopefully I should receive my part. Uh, now to replenish, of course, to reconnect. I forgot, I forgot to mention that. Uh, reconnect everything, retight everything, and just replenish from the top. Replenish at cold, start the engine, and as you warm up, the engine warm up, just add. When you, you reach a certain level, then you close it back, all right? Wait another, um, you go outside, just run uh, 15 minutes. You shut it down. And uh, don't open it when it's hot, so you have to make sure. But as long as re you replenish your reader when it's cold, it's plenty. You have to replenish after, that's okay. All right? Please, if you have any question, please ask me. In the meantime, I would get better. I will receive my part. I will reconnect everything. I'll go show you all the video. I didn't put the oil on the engine either on the transmission. And uh, I'm going to make the short video. No, I'm not going to make the short. It's easy. You just replenish your radiator, like I told you, and then you run it. When it's uh, re go back and cold, then you open it. All right, enough talking. Please take care of yourself and uh, eat plenty of vegetable and meat and <laughs> have a healthy life. All right. One thing I completely forgot to tell you: you need to flush the the uh, the, the water. So basically, on the opposite side, you need to uh, you really need to put like either from here or from the the disconnect side. You need to push. Uh, a garden hose and put water in there to flush the entire uh, cooling system uh, so it's really important to do make sure there's no remaining uh, uh, coolant so the radiator is empty but there's a little bit left on the on the engine so that's why you need to flush it as you can see here I'm gonna use the water from my uh, dehumidifier in the garage that water there's no minerals, there's no salt, there's no chlorine from the city water, the water city. So I just put the funnel in here and very slowly put everything in there. And hopefully, yes, it's rubbing, so that way you're doing a flush.
we go. So that's how I flushed it, all right? So the water went like this and also I can see the water also came out from the disconnect holes of the water pump. Uh, so that way you're in business, all right? So that's, that's really the end, all right? Cheers.